sold the house, bought a boat, refitted the boat, ready to go sailing. access to the top of the fuel tank there on the floor and have some new fuel hose there and going to replace the suction line going to the rake horse. Let's see if I can pull this up without a screwdriver. There we go. Comes out and Voila, this one is the suction line, and it's the one I'm going to replace. I'm going to open up the engine room here. There we go. There's that. The engine room is seven by seven foot, and I can't stand up in it, but you can climb in there and uh, sit and have quite a bit of room to work. The dual ray cores, and I'm pulling this line off right here. I already got the hose clamps off. the new line there we go and just tighten down the hose clamps the hose was clear the old fuel hose took off so it means there's something there's two long metal stainless tubes going down to the bottom and something was clogged in it so I'm going to unclog it and push some air in my diesel. Might be a little burp of air there going through. A thousand and five hours on this Cummings. Boom. Here's our fuel gauge bit over half. The fuel polisher wants the tank mainly full. So we are going to fill some five gallon jerry cans and start adding fuel to our tank. I estimate there's about 80 gallons in our tank and it holds 132 total. 
Go, 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 go. Hello. I'm sick of working. Let's go to the beach. Wow, look at all the seaweed. I know, it's tremendous. And, you know, there wasn't that much out here yesterday. So it's unbelievable how much has come in. It's like three feet wide and all the way down the beach. I must say, you're looking hot. I love the beach. I love the sand, except for the fact that it sometimes gets up my crack. I, I mean, in any crack and crevice of my body. Um, other than that, it's fantastic. And I guess it's time to get back to work. We're just sitting around relaxing. We are waiting for a second fuel polishing. The um, folks dropped by a chemical treatment that Steve put in the fuel tank. It's supposed to help loosen all the stuff and hopefully... Um, I know. We've already said we had our fuel polished six weeks ago and you know, uh, it's probably my own stupidity. Um, it, it, we should have done it with the full tank, I believe. That's what this current fuel polisher says. He wants the tank full and he brought by this additive to add to it over the weekend and then he will come on Monday and do his thing. So hopefully we can get all the crud out so we stop clogging up our intake <laughs> and our engine dies. We've also been wondering what kind of music to dance to. Yes, our big secret is sometimes we're dancing to Trini Lopez or, uh, or just uh, Nicki Minaj or Rihanna. Or, and then, but of course, we can't play that song on YouTube. So we look for our uh, music that fits the beat of what we're dancing to. Now sometimes we dance to the music that we're going to post, but there's our big secret. Right, like the other night when our engine died at 3 a.m., we really would have liked to have played some Black Sabbath. Yeah, we probably wouldn't have been dancing since we were being knocked around, but it would have been a great uh, background music, I guess. We uh, also um, will play music sometimes when we're like leaving the dock or something, and it might be anything from Enya to ACDC <laughs> to... Uh, Tchaikovsky. Or how about some ABBA? 